Julie this morning. I like that. There it is. Julie Black, a true Canadian icon, Juno Award winner, and has been dubbed Canada's Queen of R&B Soul. And today she is celebrating her star unveiling on the Walk of Fame. Joining us in studio, please get loud for Miss Julie Black. Oh! Hey. Welcome back to the studio. Thank you. Oh man, this is this is exciting. It is. And a long time coming. Long time. It's been a couple years. Couple years. 2021. Well, it's been my whole life. Let me say that. Yes. It's been my whole life. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. But the announcement was a couple years ago, but now happening today, they're gonna unveil 11 stars, mm -hmm. yours being one of them. Yes. How are you feeling this morning? I mean, I've never been married, so whoever has to come marry this woman is going to have to outdo this feeling. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. It's electric. It's, it's magical. Um, just representing my entire family lineage. Um, my mom, my late mom, who if she were here, my God, but she'll be with me. I'm just, I feel, it feels good to feel good, Devo. It's, and I'm drinking my own Kool-Aid. And you should, and you I'm deserve it. I'm my chest. Sorry, audio. <laughs> you have to, yeah. They're like, I don't know if your mic's working. Now yeah, they know. Yeah. It's definitely working. Um, one thing you said to me a long time ago, and I remember this very clearly, and it stick, stuck with me for mm -hmm. a long time, is, you know what, I say, oh, it's about time. It's about time. And mm -hmm. you say, no, it's on time. And yes. I remember when you said that, and so for a moment like this, you know, knowing that through the pandemic is when it could have happened, you know, and, and I know you talk about, you know, your mom missing out on this moment too, but it's on time for you. It this. is on time for me. This is my renaissance and mm. R.I.P. Tina Turner. Mm. You know, like her being 44 and her renaissance, her comeback, me being 45 and living the best life, like the, the best years. My mom used to say, your, your ladder will be better, your, your, your forward is better than your behind, you know what yeah. I mean, type thing. And I'm like, oh my gosh, these are my best days. These are my best days because I'm happy, I'm healthy, I'm sharing, I'm vulnerable, I'm ready to build community and just be, really be. And you've taken everything you've done throughout your career and you are putting it out there. And you, the vulnerability aspect of it, I love. You know, earlier this year, you had, you know, you did what you did, mm -hmm. you know, singing the national anthem and a lot of people came at you. Mm -hmm. and, but, but you stood up for yourself and you stood up for a lot of people. I did. And, and, you know, in the aftermath of that, you know, how are you feeling about your decisions to do those things? I mean, I feel incredible. I didn't, I, it, was, it was easy. Mm -hmm. And I tell people all the time, like, like oh, are you scared? Like, when there's an ease around your decision, mm -hmm. that's, my, that's my barometer. You know, and for, you know, the Assembly of First Nations to say, hey, Julie Black, we got your back. That changed everything for That's me. That's amazing. Yeah. That is so cool. Okay, let's talk about the celebration. Yes. Uh, yes. It is Shall the we? 25th anniversary of celebrations happening at Roy Thompson Hall on King Street in Toronto today. Uh, some of the 2020 and 2021 inductees, Keanu Reeves, mm. Damian Warner. Hello. Uh, Jay Vermani is a part of this. Bret Hart, the Hitman Hart, a part of this. And, of course, you as well. Um, what does this, again, the culmination of what you've been doing, what does this recognition mean to you? Mm. This recognition rec represents um, possibility mm. and uh, endurance, longevity, and a new beginning. Each and every time my eyes pop open every morning when I get that opportunity, it's, it represents getting to do something versus, you know, I got to do something. This is something that I get to do. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I want to shout out the late, great Salome Bay. Yes. Right? So to think about our the, the age gap, right. you know, and here I am. And it's like, okay, so we can now shorten the gap. You know, for people of color, for mm -hmm. black women and men, for black and brown people. Like, let's, let's shorten the gap for all of Canada. You know, so this is, it, it represents building bridges. I have this tattoo. I always mm -hmm. show it. You know, big enough for everyone to cross. So it's time yeah. to really uh, take this. There it is. There's my bridge yeah. right there. Hey, ooh, ooh, that's a good, ooh, I look, <laughs> that's a good looking shot. good. Everyone take mm. a screenshot right now. Hello, three, two, one. Mm, got and, it. And tag Julie in that <laughs> and make sure you send it to her, which is amazing. Um, I want to ask, before I get to your legacy, I want to ask about, you mentioned Tina Turner, and mm -hmm. I know you posted about it, and the inspiration that she had in your life, mm -hmm. not just musically, but overall. Yeah. Um, and seeing that, of course, and experiencing that loss right there, uh, what did she mean to you? Oh, my goodness. She meant that black women can really do anything they put their mind to. Mm -hmm. um, a presence. She... she in, she inspired me as a performer and as a human. She also, rep to me, represented forgiveness and, um, and grace and finding spirituality. Um, she was so much like my mom in, you know, she raised Ike's kids. My mom raised my dad's kids after they divorced. And so, um, just so many things. Her, her features, mm -hmm. her muscles, her hair, the rasp in her voice, her smile. Yeah. She, I've, I started smiling lots more. There was a time over my career uh, that I wasn't smiling a lot. Yeah, I didn't like the gap in my yeah. teeth. 
like these little things. It's like, you know, this is me. That's why my album's called This Is Me. It's so good. <laughs> and when it's all said and done, what do you want your legacy? We were talking about somebody like Tina Turner. What do you want your legacy to be? I, you brought, to... I brought joy into somebody's life yeah. each and every day I was on this planet. It sounds simple. Yeah, it is. But it's a lot of work. Nah. You don't think so? Joy is easy. Just yeah. choose it. Fill your joy that. bank. See? You're dropping Choose knowledge it. every time we hang Choose out. Choose it and give your joy from the overflow. Fill your bank to the overflow. Mm. And then let people have the opportunity to receive your overflow. The problem is people are giving from the empty. Yeah. Yeah. We have a lot to talk about still. I love that. Uh, the celebration happening today. Can people come check it out and yes, come cheer on you the on and bring, side. bring some joy to you? Bring some joy, bring some Prosecco. Yeah. <laughs> that also That'll brings bring joy. some joy. That yeah. brings joy as well. Uh, yeah, Roy Thompson Hall, uh, the Simcoe side. Come on through, come on down, and let's do it. I'm so excited. I'm so happy for you. Thank a well deserved you. and right on time for you, Julie Black, right everybody. Time. Congratulations once again, the star on the Canada's Walk of Fame happening today. Congrats and uh, enjoy today. There you go. <laughs> That's it.